Hey guys, in this video I'm going to compare the LOC method to the LCO method. But first, let's discuss the difference between each. But before we do, I want to say this video is my perspective on the LOC and LCO methods and is based on my personal opinion. There are a lot of different versions of these methods out there with people putting their own spin and remix on it, okay? So let's start with the LOC method. This moisturizing method focuses on layering moisture onto the hair to increase moisture retention. This method is best suited for those with normal and high porosity hair types. The letters LOC also tell you the order to apply products. First is L for liquid, next is O for oil, and lastly C for cream. You want to first apply water or a liquid spray leave-in. In this video, I'm going to be using the Matrix Biolage Fortifying Leave-In Treatment. Next, you would then seal in the first layer of moisture with an oil of your choice. I'm using the Jamaican Mango and Lime Coconut Scented Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Lastly, you would want to apply another layer of moisture with a thick creamy based moisturizer or leave-in. For this experiment, I will be using the Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner. Now, some people say that you should use some type of non-water based butter like Shea Butter for this step to seal in the oil. However, this does not make any sense to me because butters are nothing but oil in solid form, so you would only be applying more oil to your already oiled hair. Cream-based moisturizers provide a second layer of moisture on top of the oil and also contain emollients which will seal everything in underneath. Next, let's discuss the LCO method. This moisturizing method focuses on packing moisture into the hair and then sealing it with an oil. The order of products applied is listed in the name LCO, of course. First, L for liquid, C for cream, and O for oil. Of course, for the experiment, I will be using the same products. Both methods begin with liquid first, but unlike its counterpart, the LCO method uses cream second and oil last. The idea is that the liquid and cream provide moisture and the oil, along with the emollients of the cream, seal everything in. So now that we understand each method respectfully, let's go ahead and continue on with the experiment. On the first day, I was surprised to find that there was almost no difference on either side of my head. Both sides felt soft, fluffy, and well moisturized. 
The only difference that I noticed was that the LOC side, which is on the left, seemed just a tad bit shinier than the other side. However, I think this is due to the right side being just a tad bit more frizzier. Remember that for this experiment, we are looking for differences in primarily shine and moisture retention. I think that it turned out frizzy because everyone has that one side that they flat twist better than the other. On day two, my hair had begun to dry out just a tad on both sides. However, there was no difference as far as I could tell with softness and moisture in my hair. I should also say that there was no longer a difference in shine as both sides lost some of their initial sheen. By the beginning of the third day, my hair looked and felt as it did on day two, except for a little extra frizz. However, by the end of the third day, my hair felt almost dried out on both sides. But even still, I could not find even the smallest amount of difference between using the LOC and LCO methods. So I'm going to say that this experiment is inconclusive at this time. In a future video, I plan to revisit this experiment and explore using different products to see if that will help tilt the scales a little bit. But I at least hope you enjoyed the experiment. Please feel free to try it out at home and see how long your hair can go before you need to re-moisturize. I would love to know your experiences. As always, thanks for watching guys, and until the next video, be blessed. Bye!